This is Geeta. Geeta works as a household help. Two years ago, she came to Delhi with the help of an agency. She came to this completely new city, hundreds of kilometers away from her village. Even though we all tend to move away from our home for the prospect of work, it is just not the same for everyone. You see, a year ago when Geeta wanted to make a visit back to her village, she couldn't get in touch with the agency that helped her get to Delhi in the first place. After multiple phone calls over several months, there was still no contact, no word whatsoever. Geeta spent eight long months in anticipation of when she will be able to go back and meet her family. She felt sad, hopeless, and lost. Why, you ask? Because like a majority of the lower income class of India, she couldn't read or write. With a low literacy level, she did not know how to get to her home all by herself and was completely dependent on a person who was barely traceable for eight whole months. Geeta is not the only one though. Her story resonates with many people we know. Her experience highlights various issues in our world. But today, on International Literacy Day, let's begin with one, basic education. Education means different things to different people. For some, it is a need, others, a luxury, and still others just regular things that they do every day to fulfill the basic requirements of living a successful life. Feeling completely helpless because one cannot read or write in any specific language is not just Gita's reality, but that of an alarming proportion of the population. What may seem a hypothetical scenario of being stuck away from your home because of one's inability to read, write, and communicate is actually the reality of several people in this country. You can help though. Just by sitting at your homes, you can help someone feel a little more familiar in the world around them. So today on International Literacy Day, we at Skills for Life Foundation want to share some ways in which you can help make this world a better place. Number one, volunteer to tutor someone in need at least one hour every week, whether it is your house help or their child. This is a great starting point. Just help them write their name and basic details first, and then you can move on to helping them read and write basic instructions. Number two, help them access basic Hindi and English books. You might have many of these books at home from primary school, and you may not even use these anymore. Allow and encourage them to borrow these books to build upon their basic spoken and written language skills. Number three, COVID-19 has left many people financially strained. So if you still find yourself financially well off and capable of funding someone else's tuition for some time, lend support. You can lend support to NGOs or even start with your house help or driver's children if you know that they might be facing issues. In the coming times, digital literacy, especially for the older generation, is going to become crucial. So number four, help your parents, your grandparents, the people who help you with your household activities, decipher simple yet crucial applications on computer and mobile phones. Number five, use your awareness to help others understand the importance of living a healthy lifestyle during these times. Talk to them about precautions that must be taken at all times and educate them on the little steps that they can take on a daily basis to live a healthier life. And finally, use your literacy skills to build awareness. If there's one thing you should know, it is this. You matter. Your voice matters. And you are capable of making a very solid difference in someone's life. Use your voice to further spread this message and remind people that every day they have an opportunity to contribute in someone's life in multiple ways. Share this with your network and inspire them to take further action. Helen Keller had once famously stated, Alone, we can do so little. Together though, we can do so much. So on this International Literacy Day, let's get together and take little steps to make this world a better place. 
We really want to keep enriching your lives with positive content consistently, and we need your help to build a happy community. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Comment on this video to tell us how you liked it, and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you're always the first one to be notified whenever we put out a video. Have a really wonderful day.